Hello everybody, welcome back. It is Sunday, the 7th of April. Around half seven in the morning, something like that. I don't know, but I'm on my way to work. I'm near Central Pier, as you can see. The sea's out, but it's coming in. And the wind's getting up, and this is Storm Kathleen. I was hoping for a bit of like stormy dramatics and wind. There is a bit of wind, but it's completely behind me. It's not even blowing towards me. It's blowing me forwards. If I'd known the wind would be in this direction, I would have cycled to work. So there's pretty much no storm dramatics today, but I am indeed walking through Storm Kathleen. Possibly I've missed most of it, maybe it hit earlier in the morning, but I thought it was supposed to be hitting around now and maybe a little bit later come the high tide but either way i'm probably going to miss most of it because i have just got to hoof it down here and just get to work as fast as i can now because i've just done a couple of videos on rigby road so i need to really get a move on so that's still got some palace and that one there is the old Carousel Amusements. Carousel Amusements was especially my favourite arcade as a kid. I did like that one as well, the carousel was my favourite. But I had this thing, if I had around 50p, I'd have my 5 10p's and I'd play 5 video games, but I'd start at North Pier, walk around the North Pier arcade for a bit, just watch people play games or just walk around, enjoy the atmosphere and listening to the machines. I know that sounds a little odd, but back then it was like a really fun thing to do. Then I'd walk downwards and I'd go into the Purple Penny, which was where the New Sands Hotel Spyglass Bar, it was around there. And I just basically walked down the prom, going into every arcade on the way down. And the last one I went into was that little one on the corner of the prom and Lytham Road. It was a little old arcade in the old little lifeboat house. I'm not sure what that place is now, but it used to be a little arcade. So that was like my little prom walk, what I used to do. Because I had a lot of, I knew a lot of people from school who did the same thing. So you'd occasionally run into someone you knew and just say hi if you came across them in an arcade. Or sometimes we'd go the opposite way and go down Watson Road and there was a little arcade in the Pleasure Beach that was just, you got into it by turning off down Watson Road. But you could get into the skating via Watson Road back then as well, when the pleasure was free to go in. And then I'd go into the Lucky Star, which is obviously now the Velvet Coaster. But for now, we are doing our Lucky Prom Walk. I was going to nip down Chapel Street and do an update there but to be honest the car park isn't open yet and last time I walked around it it looked pretty much finished except it just wasn't open so I think walking around there again now wouldn't show you anything new so that is why I came here to film the store except it's really not much of a storm is it it's enough wind and i think the sea's going to be pretty impressive when it gets in because it's the waves that are close to the shore a bit, they are pretty gnarly i can hear people who would surf laughing at me now for the use of the word gnarly and they'd be saying, 
Mica, they are not waves at all. Shut up. <laughs> but you know what I mean? Sometimes when the seed comes in, the waves are just so little and tiny and gentle that they seem so serene. And today, they just got a little bit more punch to them. I still wouldn't say they were great storm waves though. But for now, all we can do is keep on walking. Sea Life Centre there. Sure there used to be go-karts there years ago, maybe on top of Funland. But I think it was on top of the arcade that used to be the Sea Life. I think there used to be go-karts and a ghost train that used to be called the Roller Ghoster because it was kind of a little bit up and downy. But it was also a ghost train. But I don't recall for sure where it was. Oh, that's a great view of Black Bull Tower. I do think once this storm blows over it's going to be a lovely day. So I think the sun's trying its best to come out. The sun and the wind's like, storm be gone. But we've had all these weather warnings all week. And when you get these weather warnings in the UK, for the most part, Blackpool seems to just escape them. I mean, we get plenty of rain for sure. Plenty of rain. And we do get the wind and the breeze. So good old breezy Blackpool. But when we get all these like severe snow warnings and stuff like that, you can guarantee that we will almost always not get snow. And if we do get snow, it'll be just a little bit. It's very, very rare that we get snow that actually sticks. And it's even rarer that we get snow that sticks around for a few days. Like if if the snow does stick and we get about a couple of centimetres, it'll normally turn to rain and then wash off within a couple of hours. But I only recall a few times in my life where it has actually properly snowed and really, really, really snowed. I think it was in 1996 maybe winter 95 or winter 96 i think sort of around those areas around that winter late 95 early 96 where it just the snow just tanked it down because the house i lived in alongside the little block there was a little alley on the corner and it was one of those little alleys that's like just wide enough for a person to walk through and the snow had drifted in the alley it must have just blown in there as the wind and the snow was coming because we had a good like five or six inches of snow i think but in that little alley there was like nearly four feet of snow just packed in just couldn't get through and it was no drama it was easy peasy to walk around the other way but yeah the snow just drifted in the alley and i vaguely remember as a little kid, I used to live in Nelson, well, closer to Pendle Hill area, and I remember it snowing there once in the back garden so much that, well, I say back garden, it was one of those little two up two down houses with a tiny little square yard, and when the back door was open, you could literally just see snow because the snow had drifted right up against the back door and in the back garden and the back garden was like a box of snow and yeah it just drifted against the back door so there was like a snow shaped impression of the outside of the back door but as far as Blackpool goes we very very rarely do get a lot of snow Anyway, I think on that note, I'm going to end this little walk video because I'm right here opposite the tower. So this seems a great place to finish it. So thank you 
you so much for watching if you did enjoy the video just hit that like button before you go that would be fantastic and maybe even subscribe if you're not already subscribed and i shall see you all super soon in the next video goodbye